So I just finished recording a metallics gradient tutorial for Procreate. If you haven't seen that, I will link down in the description so you can watch that. This video is more of a demonstration on a mini kit that I have in my lab. If you're part of my newsletter, you already have access to this. And of course, it's free like everything else in the lab. For those of you who don't know what the lab is, for the people that are on my newsletter, I have a collection of tutorial resources like working PSD files, some finished products, some mini kits like the one I'm showing you today, and just a bunch of resources from tutorials that I've done in the past. So if you're interested in taking a look at that, you can get access to it by signing up for my newsletter on my website at prettywebs.com. Just scroll down to the footer of any page on my website and you'll see a sign up form there. Once you sign up, you'll get a link and a password to get on there. Like I said, everything on there is free and they're mostly resources to help you with the tutorials, but I do have some finished products like the one I want to show you today. The focus of this is to explain to you how this little mini kit works. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to add a new document. So I'm just going to click right here and then click screen size. And I just want to show you what comes with this little kit. So this is what I'm giving you right here, the Pretty Webs Gradient Guides. These are just brushes that will help you create guides really quickly for creating the metallic gradient. So we have these right here. I'm going to choose this one right here, the very first one, Guide 1, 5 color. So you can see right here, I have 5 color, 5 color, 5 color. I have 1, 4 color and 2, 3 color. You can use the same color multiple times on these. You don't have to use five different colors or three different colors. And I'll show you that here in a minute. These are just five variations of color to give you different looks. So I'm going to start with guide one. It's a five color. I'm using a black color for my pen and I'm just going to look for the center. Actually, what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to click on that, click on that little wrench, click on canvas and then click on drawing guides. We're going to edit drawing guides. I'm going to make this really low, like 5%. You probably won't even be able to see it, but I'm going to make my grid size really big. And let me make that darker just so you can see. Uh, what it's doing is just giving me the center of the canvas. So that's all I want. I just want to guide to the center of the canvas. This is not necessary. You don't have to do all of this. And it's very faint, probably not even visible on camera. All I'm going to do is take that brush, make sure that it is up all the way, and just click once right there on the center. And that's going to give me these lines. I have right here five sections or five columns. I'm going to add a new layer there. And then from here, what I'm going to do is start to add my color. So right here, you're also going to get these first three color palettes up here. But actually, there's a lot more color palettes on here. If you can see where the red blocks are. Those are separators. So the first one right here is a five color. The next is a four, then another four, a five, a three, a three, and a two. These are just color combinations that look really well for metallics. So I put those together just so you have them. And I'm going to go through and make sure that I am on just an inking. I'm going to use the studio pen. And I think I'm going to show you a uh, silver gradient for this one. So I'm going to come in here and draw out my first line. You don't even have to be, you know, this meticulous about it. You can draw out your lines however you want. And then we come in, grab the next color. So you're just like kind of following the color palette that I set up. And we're going to go back in and grab the next one, drop color there grab the next one and then drop the color there. And then you come in here to adjustments, Gaussian blur layer, set the blur to whatever you want. Now I can start to see these lines in here. I don't know if you can. Those are just guides. They're not going to show up on your finished product, but you can turn them off just by clicking that off right there. I'm going to turn them back on. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and then we'll add a new one. Actually, I'm going to delete that. Okay, so I'm going to show you another brush. I'm going to come back up here to gradient guides and I'm going to choose this time a three color and just again, click right there in the center. Now I've got three sections to work with. I'm going to come over here and choose this two color that I have here. 
So any brush is fine. I'm in inking and I'm using the studio pen for this. So you can use anything. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to drop my color, come over here, drop my color on this side. This is a two color color palette. So I'm going to have my base color on either side and then I'll use that other color right in the center. And then again, Gaussian Blur to create that. So the color palette kit and the brushes will be available. And this just makes it so much easier to create your, your gradients without having to worry about positioning and all of that stuff. So this little mini kit will be available, like I said earlier on the lab. If you are on my newsletter, you already have access to it. It's already there, so you can download it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and have fun with this little mini kit.